In manufacturing, most customers expect that their parts are gonna be exactly how they design them and are gonna function exactly how they want them to without ever having to think about what it took to make the part. So our job is to deliver that experience to our customers. We wanna make sure that when they get a part, it's gonna operate exactly how they planned it to operate. My name is Austin Hall. I'm an owner and uh, president of HDH Manufacturing. So we're a job shop. We kind of do a little bit of everything. We do anything from one-off parts to batches of 1,000 to 10,000. Uh, we kind of specialize in designing, building, fixturing. We also do pretty much anything that we can fit in the door and fit in the machine. So I started manufacturing when I was about 16. Uh, I was just assembling different assemblies, putting nuts and bolts together. Uh, and then I was given a few different projects uh, to run. Uh, I was running a Herco Hawk and I was just loading parts, pressing buttons, and I didn't really know what I was doing. And from there, I was able to kind of uh, pick up some conversational programming. And then I was given more and more work as far as, you know, program this, program that. And I had to pick up and learn on the go and kind of teach myself how to do stuff. So we started about six years ago. Uh, the company we worked for basically shut down overnight. And uh, myself and the two other owners decided, you know, we did all of the basic day-to-day -day production. And so we decided, okay, we'll try and start our own shop. We bought our first machine at uh, our prior employer's uh, auction when they shut down. And we all had a lot of experience with the Herco machines as well as several other machines and we just knew how easy it was to program. We knew we'd be able to adapt programs and move from one machine to another with very little additional setup. We knew we could basically program on the fly, make changes and do quick setups. And that's basically what's allowed us to be so uh, profitable and, and excel as a manufacturer. So with our most recent purchases of machines, we were really looking towards a work envelope that worked best for our production needs. We wanted to be able to run as many parts as we could in as small of a work envelope and with the least amount of material handling as possible. So we went with BM30s where we have 50 inches of X travel and we can run four foot bars in one time and get anywhere from five parts to 60, 100 parts in one uh, load of devices and one cycle start. And that allows us to increase uh, the amount of time our machine's constantly running and decrease the amount of time we're loading our machines. Herco's helped us meet our customers' expectations by being able to plan things out before a part ever touches our shop floor. We know about how long it's gonna to take to set something up. We know what tools our machines can hold and we know the capabilities of our machines and how easy it is to program on them, to set things up, to make changes and how adaptable they are that we can move things around. And so before part ever hits our shop floor, before we even get a PO, we can fairly well predict exactly how long it's gonna to take to set something up, program it, and run it. And that saves us money and it saves our customers money. For the most part, we do a lot of our own maintenance and uh, the Hercos are rather easy to work on. It's pretty easy to get to most uh, of the servos, the drives, the belts. You can do a lot of the work yourself and everything's pretty modular. You can go in and, and make changes and, and replace parts that are fairly easy to get a hold of. Uh, and it's usually not terribly expensive to fix a lot of problems. With Herco, we love being able to edit on the fly while a machine is running. So you write a program and it has some issues or some delays, some air cutting. We're able to make changes while the program is running uh, write things down, make the changes as it's running. And by the time the program is done, for the next cycle, you're saving 20, 30, 40% for the next production run. And it really adds up over time. Another thing we really like about the control is the simplicity. Herco has pared it down to just the handful of uh, everyday buttons you need on the console. So you don't have a button for every little operation and you're able to just use the, the, the main features of the console as quickly as possible. You don't have to search and peck for different buttons. You're able to know exactly where everything's at and get to it quickly without worrying about pressing the wrong button. Uh, the menus in the, the console itself are really easy to get to. 
Uh, you can make changes on the fly. You can navigate through the different tool pages, the setup pages almost instantaneously and not have to go through eight menus or hit a certain combination of buttons just to get one thing to pop up. It's really intuitive and it kind of is always kind of prompting you to enter in stuff uh, exactly what it wants. It'll ask you for a diameter, it'll ask you for a, a tool length, and it's, it's really good about letting you know exactly what information you're putting into it. And that's really helpful for uh, uh, an operator, a, a setup person, and they don't really have to think about exactly what, you know, what field is a G this or an M that. You just enter in exactly what it's asking, what's the diameter, and it, it saves a lot of time and it, it has a really easy learning curve.